I need to like glue all of these down because they've all just kind of they all kind of tumble around in here. Hi guys, it's Hassan Draws. Today's video is kind of like a drawing a skin a skin tutorial on how to how I draw skin. I was really excited for this video because a lot of people were wanting a tutorial on how I draw skin. I thought the best way to learn that was to have a real-time not a time lapse, just real time me drawing it so I can explain everything that's going on. So I set up my tripod and I recorded it all. I was like, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be so informative. And then I found out that half the footage is overexposed, which I love half for me. Of course, of course that happens to me. I had to kind of cut out like half of it, but I mean, it makes this video shorter. So if that's easier to watch, I don't know. It'll be shorter than my 20 minute video that I made last time. I realized that I do actually talk a little bit more than I thought I did. There are a few cuts in this video, but I hope the general consensus is still there. I'm gonna pan over to that video now where I've done a voiceover. So I hope it's helpful. Please let me know if it's helpful. And if it is, give a like on this video and subscribe and all those fun things but thanks for being here transition i tried my very best to delete the parts where it just got completely overexposed but i hope you still learn something from that so i'm going in with a slightly more saturated tone of the color i used for the base and i'm just putting it near the temples on the cheeks i always cover the nose with it and then i carve out all of the little highlights later i had one of these overexposed shots so you could laugh at me lol that happened several times. It was very annoying. I've honestly had to cut this video so much. I really hope it still works and helps and still gets the point across. So yeah, just going in with my more saturated color, going on the tips of the fingers, tips of the ears, tips of the nose. I kind of figure this out from seeing other art styles. I also go in with the airbrush just to kind of smooth everything out in the end. This is gonna be our base. We're not gonna leave it this smooth. We're gonna chisel it out later. I'm sorry if I sound kind of croaky. I don't know if I'm, I can't tell if I'm doing that on purpose or not. Kind of annoying if I'm doing that on purpose. Anyway, so yeah, this is where I'm going in with my normal brush and I'm going in with all the sharp shadows now. So the shadows on the hand there, the far shadows, I'm gonna do a bit on the nose too. Let's lighten up that color a bit. Oh, doesn't everybody else just love these overexposed shots? This was such a brilliant idea, Hassan, well done. So yeah, you can see just that I just chiseled out the nose by putting a little highlight on the top and a little bit of highlight on the bridge. Right now I'm just adding more highlights. I'm adding those sharper highlights so it doesn't all just look airbrushed. I know I've definitely said this before, but I think my biggest tip ever for digital artists is to please add some sharpness in the areas that you, you've completely use the airbrush on because it'll just break it up. It'll break up the textures and it just looks good. So I'm going in and adding some more sharp highlights to the hands. So you can see that sort of like where the light is and where the shadow is, is quite strong. Our eyes are very attracted to contrast. So that sort of strong line between the shadow and the light is very eye catching. Okay, and now I'm just kind of coloring in the lips. I think at this point I was like, oh, I may as well just like color in all the other facial features here. Please make sure you never ever use a pure white when you're coloring in your pupils, or your irises, your the whites of your eyes. Because in real life, people's eyes aren't glowing out of their heads. So use a slightly off-white or a darker kind of shade and even add highlights to it or make it darker. I've seen people draw eyes quite dark and it just makes it look more realistic. Oh, ha, ha. did it just overexpose again? Ha, love that, ha. If anyone knows why it's doing that, please let me know. I think it's because my background's white because at the end of the video, I kind of zoom in and it doesn't do it as much anymore. Okay, here I'm just kind of adding in an extra dark shadow. So I went in and got a really dark brown and I'm just gonna add the extra dark shadows now. And I think I'm like playing around with highlights here. This, I don't know why, because it's not really doing anything. I'm doing this practice, which I would not recommend, which is to put a layer on top of everything and just start painting on top. And it just gets messy. And you know, I might want to fix something under the layers and I can't anymore because I've done this. So I wouldn't fully recommend this, but it definitely helps me get like a painterly kind of look.
you know, just doing some more touch-ups here. Oh, overexposed again. Love that. Haha. <laughs> Love that. I'm so sorry, everyone. I honestly, like, I should make an apology video for this video that I'm already apologizing for. Yeah, right now I'm just sharpening things up because, like I've said in previous videos, my art process is just so horrendous. Like, it's so messy at the start. And then this is the stage where I'm like, Time to really neaten things up, tighten it all up together. Like it all comes together in the end, really. So if you learn anything from this video is to please trust the process. And yeah, that's how I draw skin. So there you go. That was my little skin tutorial, if you will. I'm definitely gonna make a new one. Like I might do different skin tones or something. That was the first video that I used my tripod that I've had for years on. So I hope that was a cool format because I definitely would love to do that again. Thanks so much for watching guys and be sure to subscribe for art challenges. I'll post more art challenge online videos, some tutorials, a bit of both really, whatever you guys want. I always post my community tab video ideas. If you if there's anything that you want from me, comment on those and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.